Hey guys, it's Aaron the Home for Mobile Reviews, A.C, and today I'm going to do a review of the Ungrip, which is basically a accessory. It's on Kickstarter. It's fairly new. Um, that basically helps us handle our addiction to our giant smartphones. The greatest strength of the Ungrip is actually the multitude of ways you can actually hold your iPhone or Android device, and it also saves you from getting foam-faced. Based on my time with the Ungrip, I've given it a score of 4.1 A's out of 5, uh, which is a little higher when compared to other one-handed uh, smartphone accessories such as the Speak and Style Ring and the Fly Grip. If you want to see all the other one-handed and functional iPhone or Android accessory that I've reviewed in the last while, uh, find that on my website. Links are in the eye or in the description section below. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews a dot c a. And mobile reviews a.ca, we base everything we do on actual usage. So when we get a little plastic thing with a little cloth thing that you can stick to the back of an iPhone or Android phone, well, first thing we're going to do is try to do a iPhone yo-yo with it. Um, and if that works out, we end up twirling it as well. There's no other accessory that really allows me to do this easily, but I have no idea why I would, but I can. So that's cool. In terms of the design, the ungrip attaches to your iPhone or Android device directly to the back or on a case. It uses a 3M adhesive, and as you just saw, it will stay on. Strap portion is detachable, and there is a multitude of different colors that you can accessorize your device with. There is an attachment point for a wrist strap that goes through both the strap and the bumper. The entire setup is quite simple, but don't let the simplicity discount how much better your iPhone or Android device will handle with an ungrip. Unlike other products that are a little more rigid, the cloth strap allows you to hold your iPhone or Android device safely in a multitude of different ways so that you can ensure that your iPhone stays in your hand whenever you need to flip from portrait to landscape while watching a Facebook cat video. Now, I gave this ungrip to one of my buddies who has a 6 Plus and the only time that he drops his phone is when he's walking and he really hates cases. So being able to fit his finger through the ungrip and being able to hold it like this while he walks was awesome because, well, he didn't drop it and this entire accessory still allows him to keep the sleekness of the iPhone. Also, the plastic numb on the back isn't really that noticeable since it's in the middle of the device and you don't really know that it's there most of the times. Now, for me, there are two areas where the ungrip shines. I notice the ungrip the most when shooting videos or photos. Capturing Monty on the fly is a very difficult to, thing to do, but knowing that my giant iPhone 6 Plus is going to be stable in my hand allows me to focus a little bit more on capturing all the stupid, cute things that this little little ragamuffin does. Secondly, which, and this is probably one of the more important things I think, is that it prevents phone facing. Phone face is a pretty serious thing because it hurts and let's not fool ourselves, everybody has done it. And if you don't know what phone facing is, it's basically having your phone WTF BBQ pwn your face while you're lying down. Um, let me know if you've done this by giving this video a thumbs up. The last time I phone faced myself was actually yesterday when I was lying on my back playing Metal Masters. Now I've spent most of this video telling you how awesome this product is and it wouldn't be a mobile reviews a review if I didn't tell you some of the things that I didn't like about it. One of the things I don't like about it is that it doesn't come out as quick as some of the other one-handed uh, accessories like the fly grip as well as the speaking style ring or even the loopy case. I tend, I find that it gets caught on this middle knuckle of my finger. This is such a tiny annoyance but again I have to mention it. And the second thing is that you can't use this thing as a stand. This is, you can't plop it down on a flat surface and have it prop up at a certain angle. So if you're looking for a stand, there are some other accessories for it. But if you're looking to make sure that your iPhone doesn't fall out of your hand when you're walking or, you know, just generally using your giant smartphone, then this is a very good product. They are running a Kickstarter campaign right now. So if this product looks like something you'd get or want to support, head over to their Kickstarter page and go help them out. So that's kind of all I got for the ungrip. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. You can find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Give me a thumbs up if you've ever phone faced yourself. I'd like to know how many people have. I'm sure that every single person who has a smart device has phone faced themselves. So give me a thumbs up if that has happened to you. You can find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'm Aaron the Ho. Um, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.